Here we go. change my front brakes today but unfortunately Danny has a sink clamp and I need a sink clamp in order to put pressure on the old brakes or brake pads so I can fit the new brake pads in um, but for now I'll show you everything that you need so of course you will need some grease multi-purpose grease I bought like a big can at O'Reilly's for like I think four bucks um, gloves because you're gonna need to be wiping quite a bit of parts with the grease and then the 530 seconds from AutoZone, which is like three bucks. And then of course you need the new rotors, new brake pads, and then you also need a torque uh, wrench. And you need to torque down a certain part to 18, 18 pounds, 18 pound, 18 foot pounds, there we go, 18 foot pounds. So we got that. Um, I also bought this cool nifty tool. I'll show you when we actually get everything going. Um, LMR sells it. They just came out with it, but they sell theirs for like 80 bucks and you go on Amazon for like 12 bucks. So I highly recommend getting one. It's going to help make jacking up your car a whole lot better. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But right now, this is going to wrap it up. So to, the next time you see me, we'll be replacing my front brakes in three, two, one. Okay, right, what is up, everybody? Before we get started, go ahead and click that like for the thumbs up and then hit that subscribe to see more future videos of this box body restoring. So what's happened is, of course, you took out the tire. I got my brake uh, brake pads up here, uh, zip tie them somewhere once you find it, but right now I'm just having it right there. And then what's going to happen is you're going to wipe off this extra grease, and this is a little uh, collar pin. You got to take that out, and from there you should be able to uh, pop out this little top piece, and it gives you to the next piece. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead, but literally this little cap that's in the inside, you can just put like a little fly head and pop it right off. You see, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out and show you what's next. Okay, y'all, so don't be an idiot like me. I actually forgot about the socket that I needed. It's one, one and one eight, well, one eight of a socket. Um, so right now my roommate's actually sleeps. So I don't really have a ride to AutoZone. What I did instead, I used a C clamp to actually get a nice tight fit and actually help me loosen it. As you can see, I'm actually able to do it by hand now. So now you get here, you basically just screw this and then everything should pop right off. Boop, boop, boop. Just get it done. And also, I'm doing this in order the way it goes in back. So I can work my way from the back to start itself first. Next. Boom. And then this pops right off, which I'll show you here in a bit. Okay, so if I'm being honest, this had so much grease on it. I'm going to just reuse it. Um, I am adding extra of what I got. But I'm not adding on any of the gear. Well, I'll probably not on this one, especially the inside of the spindle, just because there's so much and it's really good. This, on the other hand, I'm gonna wipe that off and put fresh one on, put the fresh grease on. And you also want to check the bearings, make sure everything's good, which everything looks fine. And then I'm gonna get this all sucked up in the grease as well. 
and then put everything back on and see what happens. So like I said, so we use a little hammer, push this one down in, just like that, nice and smooth. Boom, 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 boom. I think it's all the way. Yep. Now, what would happen next is slide it back on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna clean this because it's a lot of buildup you can see. So I'm gonna clean that as well. And then after that would be that piece, and that piece, this and that. Which I'll show you here in a few seconds. Woo, look at that y'all, it's nice and pretty. Now I'm gonna show you all the brake pads. So this is the new one right here, as you can see. <sighs> Left one's new, right one's old. So it's definitely, well I guess it wasn't that bad, honestly. It just got dusty really bad. Yeah, it didn't look that bad. I mean, like I said, I hardly drive. I'm pretty sure the previous owner hardly drove it too, so. But oh well, it's about time to replace them, see what happens, so. Yeah, we do is install the brake pads, which they slide off and on, which is, makes things 10 times easier. And then do the other side and get back with y'all. All right, y'all, here we go. Back at it again, turn it on. on the brake nice Ooh, baby oh yeah there we go it's a whole lot better um so as you see i changed clothes maybe Ooh. i uh i changed clothes because you know i need a shower this morning i wanted to work on my car before i took a shower so that's exactly what i did um i know i would say that's probably like one of the like warriors how-to videos so i really do apologize for that um, it just like it was 27 degrees outside. I needed to knock it out as soon as I can, and I was 20 minutes late to class. So I will include just like um, in the first video when I did my rear brakes. I will include the video that I was watching on how to properly do it all. Um, so you see it down below in the description because like I said I did a pretty bad job. I really do apologize for that. And right now we're just gonna take it on a little drive. I'm headed to Walmart, which I live down the street from, just because. I need gas and then I'm gonna go get a pizza because you know a good day is hard work. You know, if I had to say one thing, make sure like if you do if you need maintenance, if you if you do everything yourself, if you do maintenance um or repairs, make sure you do it in the summertime when things are a lot warmer because trying to do it in the winter, it sucks. You know, I had two jackets on, I had gloves, um it, it was just it was just super freezing out there and I regretted it. Um and I got something cool coming in today too. I'm really looking forward to that. Um and I'll probably end up doing a giveaway as well. But anyways, what that notice is like the brakes is pretty sensitive right now. And like even like when I replaced the old brakes, they weren't that bad, honestly. Because like I know I hardly drove it. Uh, I only drive like 8,000 miles a year. The owner before me, he had it sitting in his front yard for the past like four years. Um, so it was it was surprisingly still overall in well in good shape. The only thing was, it was just pretty rusty, so I went ahead and replaced it all. Even the brake pads in the front were pretty good. But basically, this car is, this car is phenomenal. If it's good, that's one repair. Um, stay tuned for the next video. I got something else that I repaired in my car that I needed big time. Um, just because, like I said, this is a cruising vehicle now. I wasn't going to make it like pretty intense, but since it's convertible, like I said, I mentioned more in another video, my plans with this car. Um, that's gonna wrap it up. Don't forget to click that thumbs up like, if you like the video. Don't forget to share with your friends. Hit that subscribe. You can see this horsepower, you know, got the car shaking. That's why my head is did it, did it, did it. But that's gonna wrap it up. Your boy's out. See you in the next one. Skadoosh. That girl took my shit. Ooh, said she wanna slip. Ooh, left me for some kid. Ooh, now she on my gear. Yeah, that bitch took my shit.